everybody, my name is Katie Sprague, and I'm one of the education specialists at the Solid Waste Authority of Palm Beach County. Many people don't know that the SWA has trails on its property. Today, we're going to take a closer look at one of the educational signs on the Butterfly Loop Trail, which you can see below. Be sure to like and share this video and post in the comments where you're watching from. The SWA began operations in 1975, and we are the local government agency responsible for managing Palm Beach County solid waste. Now this includes your garbage, recycling, home hazards, and biosolids. In the 1980s, when we were siting to build the landfill, environmental groups discovered an endangered species, the Everglades snail kite, living on the property. And so they turned about 300 acres into a protected wildlife preserve. And the SWA Greenway Trail System was created. These trails are open to the public and you can come out and hike, bike, walk, and run on our trails. On our butterfly loop in the map below, you can see a series of educational signs to help you learn more about the nature around you. We're going to start with the first stop today, number one, and that sign discusses transformations. It compares the life cycle of an aluminum can with the life cycle of Florida State butterfly, the zebra longwing butterfly. So cycles can be linear or they can be circular. For example, if you take an aluminum can and throw it in the garbage, it will be burned and turned into electricity. So that is a linear cycle. However, if you put it into a recycling bin, then that item can be recycled and made into new products. So we've given it another life. It is a circular cycle. We can see on the sign that the ore used to make aluminum is mined, sent to processing plants, turned into aluminum products like soda cans, and then we use those. And if they're put into your blue recycling bin, it can go through the process again. One of the really cool things about aluminum is that it can be recycled an infinite number of times. Over and over again, it can be turned into new products. And using recycled aluminum takes about 95% less energy than using new materials. We can compare that to the life cycle of the zebra longwing butterfly. So that is the state butterfly of Florida. It's found in the southern parts of the US into Mexico, Central America, the West Indies, and into South America. It's a medium-sized butterfly. It has black wings with yellow stripes on top. It's paler down below and has red spots. So we can see it starts out with the yellow eggs, and that develops into a black and white larva with spines. And then it moves into the pupa stage, that brownish colored shape there. And then you can see it emerging from the chrysalis and becoming an adult butterfly. And then it continues through that cycle. So in order to keep the butterflies alive and ensure their survival, it has to continue to reproduce. And that's kind of the same thought behind recycling, right? To continue the usage of our natural resources, like the materials that go into making aluminum. So be sure to tune in and follow at Solid Waste Authority on Facebook. So you can see the next sign on the butterfly loop, and we'll continue our virtual trek through the trail signs. Thank you all for joining us.